Last week I had heart surgery for <gasps> crop duster, squirrel. It does feel stressful because it's like, am I gonna hit sugar in time? You know, it just, I'm always stressed out. So that's just how it goes for me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California, and this channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. Um, so if you guys missed my last video, last week I had heart surgery. Um, I did not have open heart. I had a cardiac ablation to treat an issue called WPW. But if you guys wanna learn more about that, you can watch that video. So it has been a little over a week and I am feeling great. A couple days ago, the doctor cleared me to kind of go back to work. You know, they said just, just slowly get back into it. Don't go crazy all in one day. So I worked a little tiny bit yesterday, but I didn't do much. So today is gonna be like my first day really back on the farm. So this morning I am out letting out the chickens and checking on everybody. And then we're gonna head to the farm and look at the vineyard. We are a couple weeks away from harvest. Um, we're just working on getting that sugar up, but I'll tell you guys all about that when we get to the farm. We're gonna take care of the chickens first. Good morning, ladies. How's everybody doing? Filled up everybody's food yesterday, so we're probably good on food. That one's good. We got a good amount of water there. That water's looking a little low. I could probably fill it. And then I've been fermenting food lately and they love it. They love the fermented food, so I gotta get that. Come on. This looks like it's gonna need a little bit more water, guys. Okay. So we actually have all the baby chicks in our basement because it's been so hot and our basement just keeps the best temperature. Um, so they are doing so great. My basement, I mean, it's a basement. So we've got a lot of stuff in here. Um, so these guys are about, let's see, a week and a half old. Yeah. I got 24 chicks from Strombergs. So I've got uh, 12 up here and 12 down here, which you can't really see. But I'll show them to you guys as they get older. So I just come in and turn on the lights. I have got a ton of cleaning to do this weekend. I had a couple sick chickens. Um, one didn't make it, one did, but I gotta clean the whole hospital section out. Um, that way it's all nice and clean if I ever need it again. But uh, I will be showing you guys as those chicks grow because I'm so excited about it. If, if anyone is interested in mail order chicks, this was my first time getting mail order chicks. I got them a few days before my surgery. They did amazing, 100% lived. 100% are still living, because I've heard sometimes um, you can lose them in the first couple days. They are all in great shape, and I'm so happy with Strombergs. I was really nervous because I hear horror stories about getting chicks in the mail, but 24 chicks, so I don't even know how many chickens that is, but it's a lot. <laughs> okay, we'll head to the farm now. Okay, we are back on the farm. Feels so good. Um, I have I have been able to come a couple times just to look around, but it still feels good. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do this morning is I'm actually gonna turn my irrigation on. 
We are not doing a full irrigation, but I am gonna be putting some fertilizer on, which is in this tank right here. I think I've shown this to you guys before, but I have an injector pump and it takes the fertilizer and injects it into my drip line. So the first thing we gotta do is turn the irrigation on and I normally run it for like 30 minutes to an hour just to get like all the water going. Um, and then we'll turn the injector pump on. Um, I've been using my drop control for my irrigation, which is nice because I have it on an app. But for this, it's just like really easy to use that timer to just like be able to turn it on and off when I need. Um, so yeah, I just turned it on. So I normally will hear a click from over there. There's like my electricity. And then there's the pipe going up the levee and air will start coming out. Okay, there, I just heard the click. Okay, so now the air's coming out there and then any second now this will all turn on. These are filters for the water. All right, it's on. So it normally takes probably like 10 minutes or so for oh, crop duster, squirrel. <laughs> if you guys don't know yet, I love the crop duster. Like I love, love watching him. Um, it is a super calm morning, so he's probably spraying something. Um, okay, so it normally takes 10 to 15 minutes for the water to get through the lines, and I start hearing them whistle, and then I'll start hearing, uh, then I'll start seeing them drop. But everything is looking really nice. So Gallo tested the sugar last week on Thursday and it was 13. So I don't know when this video will come out, but today's Thursday. So it's been a week. Um, I'm not sure when Gallo will test it again. I'm not gonna test it right now probably because we, we basically have our plan down. So I'm not gonna test it right now, but Gallo might. and. Really what they get is what matters. So we're doing this fertilizer, we're cutting back on water a little bit, which stresses the vine a little bit or the grapes, and that helps add sugar. And then I did get asked once if we're gonna trim all this, and yes, we are. So you can see how kind of all this is crazy right now. So when we get close to the sugar that we want, and we're like a few days away from harvest, we'll come through and we have like a hedger basically, and it'll trim all this stuff off. So that way the grapes are a little bit more exposed. Oh. And you wanna know it's really crazy. So uh, Matt, who is my like one of my main mentors, they'll be doing the harvesting for me. They're going to bring two harvesters and he said we should finish in two nights. How crazy is that? It's just like, which is like great because like sometimes corn harvest and that kind of stuff is exhausting because it just goes on and on forever. But it's like, oh my God, all the work I've done is gonna be picked in two nights. So yeah, but I'll be out here. I'm excited. We'll harvest in the evening, two nights. Woo! It's coming guys, it's coming. Okay, the water has been running for about 30 to 40 minutes now. So I think I'm gonna head over and start the pump so we can get that fertilizer going. One thing I don't talk about that often, but I just wanted to mention is I do have a merchandise shop. Here's one of my favorite shirts right now. 
beaver vineyards and it's got a beaver. Uh, this beaver was actually inspired by my grandpa's logo, which was a beaver in coveralls holding a welding rod because my grandpa was a welder and he had a custom welding business and someone had hand drawn that for him. So I sent a photo of that uh, logo that was my grandpa's and got this one made. So if you guys ever want to support me in another way, you can check out my merchandise shop. Uh, you can find it at beavervineyards.com and I'll put a link in the description, but you know, check out the shirts I've got. I've got some stickers and maybe you'll find something you'll like. Um, okay, so let's go turn on that injector pump. All right, let's go ahead and get this pump started. What you saw me adjusting there is you can adjust how many gallons uh, per minute go out. And I normally like to keep it around three gallons a minute. I just feel like it's a happy medium. You don't want to go too slow, but you also don't want it to just like blast it out because then I don't feel like it evenly gets across everything. So let's check. I need to put half of this tank. So 250 gallons. So we've got 250 gallons that we're gonna put out on this side, um, roughly three gallons a minute. So we're looking at around 80 minutes. So I'll come back in just a little over an hour and check it and see how we're doing. All right. So we still got a little way. So I just came by to check on it. We're at 350, so we got another 100 gallons to go before we shut it off. Okay, it should be ready now. I'm gonna say yeah. So basically, once it goes under this black line here. I can tell it just goes a little bit under and I just guess that that's 250. Unfortunately, 300 under you can barely see, but that's okay. Um, this set went on this south field, which is my better field. So the rest will go on the north field. And if it's a little high, it's okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just set a timer for an hour. That way the water goes through and really flushes all that fertilizer out of the line, gets it into the field, and then it will just shut off by itself because I'm gonna head out to one of our leveling jobs. And then when I get back this afternoon, I can do the other side. All right, so it's on for an hour. It'll shut, shut off on its own, which is good. And uh, we'll head out to the next job. I'm feeling really good today, guys. I am taking it easy, but I'm feeling good. So unfortunately, this tractor broke down a couple days ago. The water pump went out, right, Jose? Water pump. Okay, so we went out to see where we were leveling. A tractor was broke down. We had the parts for it, but I'm just gonna be honest, it got a little crazy. And right now I'm having a hard time filming 
things when we get really crazy um, and when my dad is trying to fix something. So I apologize, I didn't get that stuff filmed, but the tractor is fixed and I'm back on the farm. Okay, it is time to run the second irrigation now. So we're gonna be doing exactly what we did this morning, but I've been Okay, so it's the next day. Um, yesterday after I finished fertilizing or turning the, uh, the pump on, my dad ended up needing help with some maps. So I went and helped him with that. And then I was done for the day. Yesterday was like my first full day back at work since surgery. So was kind of taking it light. Um, but now <laughs> I feel so out of shape. I'm checking alfalfa. I mean, it's still light work. It's just a lot of walking, which is good for me. So one check just finished. And this irrigation ditch actually we have um, our main ditches down there, like by my pickup. And this is like a ditch that comes through the middle. And we actually just have these little metal doors that we put in and it stops and then it forces the water. There's a dugout hole right here and then the water will go into this check. So this is a really easy change. And then I'm gonna walk all the way, well, I'll probably drive my pickup. I'm gonna walk all the way down there and check another check down there. So, um, normally my videos take me a couple days, sometimes even a week to actually edit and get up on YouTube. So just for reference, today is August 7th. So this morning I kind of made some phone calls to like my whole vineyard support team, if you wanna call it. So I've got my mentor, which is Matt. I've got my PCA, pest control advisor, Charlie, and then my Gallo rep. So I talked to everyone this morning and I've got some pretty exciting news. So I chatted with Matt first and I, was, I have been curious, like what is the latest they'll pick Sauvignon Blanc in my area? And he told me September 1st. So I was like a little worried because I just like, even though it's August 7th, so we have like plenty of time, it does feel stressful because it's like, am I gonna hit sugar in time? You know, it just, I'm always stressed out. So that's just how it goes for me. Um, and then, so I talked to Matt and then I talked to Charlie and I told him, you know, what I've been doing, how we're, we kind of talked about how we're going to adjust water and stuff like that. So Charlie also has his own vineyard. Um, I don't know if I've talked about them before or not on YouTube, but, um, you can buy their wine online. It's Presley Vineyards. So he is my pest control advisor, but they have their own vineyard and they make their own wine, him and his wife. So it's super awesome. So definitely check them out, Presley Vineyards. But so we discussed how to adjust the water to try to get the sugar to go up. So I haven't checked the sugar since before my surgery and I got 11. And then a couple days after my surgery, um, Gallo let me know that they got 13, but that was a week ago. So I wasn't really sure where we were at. And so this morning I called my Gallo rep and I just didn't really know how often they would be checking the sugar now. And he said, we're gonna check it every week. So they just checked it and we're at 15, which is so great. That's kind of like where Charlie was expecting me to be. So the Gallo rep told me he thinks we're gonna harvest in two weeks two weeks people. So I think I figured out, you know, it's probably not gonna be exactly two weeks, but there's gonna be like a 10 day gap between when I harvest and like when the cutoff date would be of September 1st. So here's this ditch. Um, the alfalfa is really grown on it, so you can't really tell, but there's like these little dams and we have the pipes through and then it's got this little door here that I just put in. And so that dams it off and then the water is getting forced through there to fill this check. So yeah, I mean, I've definitely been feeling the stress, but today 
I'm feeling good because we're at 15. We kind of have a game plan right now, possibly harvesting in two weeks, which is just so mind blowing. And I think the only thing is I just, I wish I would have started YouTube sooner. You know, I've been on YouTube maybe a year, a little over a year now. And it just would have been so cool if I started from like the very beginning, you know? I didn't even start my Instagram right at the beginning could have been like six months after I planted or something so but hey at least I started and it's so cool to see all of you guys follow my journey here on YouTube and on Instagram and we're gonna all experience my first harvest together it's gonna be amazing I can't wait the one thing that really blows my mind is Matt said we will probably harvest my whole 50 acres in two nights two which is like so crazy it's like all this hard work I've put in for years it's gonna be over in two nights but anyways so that's my little my little vineyard update I'm really excited and I'm so excited for you guys to all experience it with me